Good evening on the first day of the new reality in Washington, a government that is about to become even more sharply divided. Voters have given Republicans control of both houses of Congress for the next two years, the last two years of the administration of Democratic President Barack Obama. The GOP won back the Senate by taking at least seven seats now held by Democrats. Three races are still undecided. The Republicans will have at least 52 seats in the new Senate, the Democrats at least 45. Mitch McConnell is expected to be the new majority leader in the Senate. Today, both he and the president said they will try to work together to get things done. Try. And we have a series of reports tonight. First, Major Garrett at the White House. After another midterm election drubbing, President Obama pledged no fundamental changes in his White House team or its tactics. If the, the way we are talking about issues isn't working, then I'm going to try some different things. And there are times where you're a politician and you're disappointed with election results. But maybe I'm just getting older. I don't know. It, it doesn't make me mopey. Uh, it, it energizes me. The president said he will seek bipartisan compromise with the incoming Republican Congress, but he also vowed to act unilaterally to shield millions of undocumented workers from deportation by the end of this year. What I'm not going to do is just wait. Uh, I, I think it's fair to say that I've uh, shown a lot of patience and have tried to work uh, on a bipartisan basis as much as possible. The likely Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky warned executive action on immigration would poison the well for future compromises. It's like waving a red flag in front of a bull to say, if you guys don't do what I want, I'm going to do it on my own. The president said he was hopeful he could cut deals with Republicans on trade, infrastructure and tax reform. McConnell said Republicans are looking to compromise on trade and tax reform too, but no specifics are on the table. What I'd like to do is to hear from the Republicans to find out what it is that they would like to see happen. Mr. Obama also asked that Congress in its upcoming lame duck session approve $6 billion in emergency funds to fight Ebola and provide new legal authority for the war against ISIS in Iraq and Syria. The president and McConnell do not have a strong personal relationship. And a year ago, the president joked about the absurdity of negotiating with McConnell over a drink. Now the president says he wants to share some Kentucky bourbon with the senator. Anticipating the question, Scott, White House advisors insist, however, no bourbon summit is planned. Major Garrett at the White House for us tonight. Major, thank you.